Good afternoon, it's Sunny. It's Kerry here from Pacific Toyota Lexus Cairns. So what I would like to do for you today is a high definition virtual tour of our 2016 Kia Sportage red in colour that we have in stock today. So basically before I get into the vehicle itself, I just want to let you know a little bit more about the dealership. So the dealership's been here for the last 40 plus years. So I'm actually working here for the last two, three years, going on to three years right now, uh, Sunny. So basically, the dealership's been here for a bit of a more time. I just want to let you know about that. Let you know about the dealership itself. So as you can see in the city itself here, we're on 77 Melgrove Road, and we also do have another dealership that's about two kilometres south of Cairns. Is at 235 Mulgrave Road. That's at one of our other pre-owned dealerships. Also new cars as well, Toyota and Lexus beside it, service and parts behind it as well too. We also own opposite lock as a four wheel drive super center that we have here as well too. So let me show you a little bit more about the dealership here. Sunny, as you can see, we've got not just your uh, normal brand that we do sell here as Kia. We also sell uh, Toyotas, Mazdas, Mitsubishis, uh, Hyundai, Suzuki's as well too. And basically, like I say, same with your Toyota sedans. Um, also, you've got your four-wheel drive vehicles, as you can see, Land Cruisers, Prados, Pajeros, Fortuners, Mitsubishi Tritons as well too. So before I get away from it, I just want to get straight into the video itself. So as you can see right here, Sonny, is our 2016 Kia Sportage. So what I would like to do straight away, is just make sure I point out if there's any bad perfections in the vehicle, then also basically just go around the front bar, up onto the bonnet, down the side of the vehicle, up on the roof as well too, and also go through the interior with the features. So let's get straight into it, Sonny. As you can see, I'm just going straight to the front bar. You can see that the key is actually bring out a nice set of fog lights on the front bar with the chrome trimming around it. Fantastic, that looks really good. Up on that front bar. Fantastic, that looks really, really good there, Sonny. Just having a look onto the bonnet now. Just getting a look how clean and tidy that bonnet. See the, the gloss and the paint is just lipping off the, the sun. So, very, very clean and tidy. Up onto the uh, windscreen as well too. Fantastic, there's no chips in the windscreen, okay? Okay, so just having a look down the passenger side of the vehicle. Just make sure I'm checking that there's no ripples in the paint or any bad perfections. Sonny, that looks really good. You can see the gloss and the uh, reflection in it. And that color on it is probably unique. It's very, very hard to find that color. Fantastic, that looks good down from the back part of the vehicle, Sonny. Just having a look up onto the uh, rear spoiler. There's a little bit dirt because I've got the uh, Shade cloths that come over top. Had a bit of rain here this morning. Fantastic, that looks really good. Down onto the uh, mirrors, you can see that the mirrors are nice. It's got the nice blinkers through the mirrors as well too. Fantastic, just open up the passenger door. Just giving you a look at how good that trim looks as well too, how clean and tidy. Down onto the kick panel. You can see that's fitted out with a nice set of floor mats as well. Up onto the dash. Then basically over onto the driver's side seat, coming back onto the passenger seat. I'll get back to those log books. Fantastic. Looking at the back rear, kick panel back up onto the back of the seat. And then also having a look at the uh, back of the seats itself. See how clean and tidy they are. Look like they haven't even actually been sat in. Fantastic now. So looking back now, just having a look at the rear bar just to make sure there is no bad perfections. You know you normally get like your luggage marking, but this is also fitted out with rear sensors. Two, three, four. Fantastic. That looks pretty good. Just having a look around the tailgate itself. On the back of the tailgate, you've got your reverse camera, as you can see there. Fantastic. Awesome, that looks really good. So going down and have a look to see if there's any luggage mark as well too. So. As you can see, the trim also has got the uh, puffer shelf. So that's another good, actually, accessory on the vehicle itself. Fantastic. That looks really good. Awesome. All right. I'm just about to close the back rear tailgate. Just going to step back a little bit and have a look down the uh, right side of the vehicle there, Sonny. 
that looks really really good that paint's in really really good condition okay working my way to the front of the vehicle just checking out that paint to make sure there's no bad perfections in it fantastic that looks really good sonny very very tidy okay so having a look at the back rear part now just checking that uh those door trims for you because that's probably one of your good parts that you want to double check to make sure everything's all really good in condition so fantastic so before i go into the driver's side i just want to let you know sonny that it does actually have two remote keys fantastic you don't really get that too much with pre-owned vehicles okay so just having a look at the driver's side trim down on the kick panel then back up onto the dash all right so i'm just about to jump inside now and just giving you an indication to look at the uh odometer reading 61,633 on the clock just turned over the motor vehicle right now fantastic looks good just before I go away from the steering wheel, I just want to go around the steering wheel itself now and just give you an indication of what that has been looked after. Fantastic. You can see the functions on the steering wheel there now. Basically, you've got your Bluetooth, your blind controls, you're changing your station as well too, and then on the right side of the steering wheel, you've got your cruise control. Fantastic. That looks really good. Also, in your blinkers and your headlights, you've got your auto lights. And then basically you get the wipers on the left hand side. Okay, so just gonna have a look up onto the dash. Fantastic. That looks pretty good. And then basically head to the audio sound system. So I'm just gonna click onto that to agree. And then uh, go into medial. And just give me an indication of what it looks like on that side. Uh, go back out and then go back into radio fantastic all right just having a look at the uh, air conditioning below that as well too you can see that it's actually got your usb points 12 volt on either side and aux and usb nice just having a look at the gear stick and just make sure the uh, parts are not wear and tear you can see that you've got your parker sensors heel descent and then your drive mode so your drive mode can change up your eco mode to sports mode and to normal mode all right, fantastic looking at it. It's got two cup holders. Fantastic, that looks really good. See the center console part, lifting it up. Fantastic, it looks pretty deep in there, so. All right, so you've got your owner's manual, you've got your log box here. As you can see that your log box have been stamped and all up to date, right there. So flicking it across right now to the next service. So as you can see that the service has been clicked on to there, 15,000. 31,000 Ks. Next service is there due at 43. Next one after that is 59. Fantastic. So that looks like it's all been service up to date. Also, we have actually stamped it as well, too. And you can see that Pacific Pino done it at 75,000 K due. Fantastic. So that looks really good. I'm just about to jump inside the uh, engine bay now just to give you a look how tidy underneath that is. Fantastic. All right, just a pack to pop up that. Just give me a look at the interior inside of it. Looks really good. Look how clean and tidy that is. Looks like new still. Fantastic, Sonny. That actually has come to the end of the video. I would like to thank you very much for your inquiry. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give me a call. Thank you.